This is teaching the back transport with a ball. So to teach this, you need to get a toy that the dog super, super wants to have. And so what um, Lisa's going to do is teach the dog left leg, right? Yes. So he's, if the dog doesn't like the toy, it won't work. So you gotta get... Love you got to get a toy that the dogs are super, super crazy for, right? Right. And the other thing is, I've worked non-stop in getting him to look at me. And now I have to teach him to look away from me, which is now going to be like, oh no, you've told me to always look at you. So now I've got to change for the ones. He's not done this before, so we'll see. Mm -hmm. And this is perfect because this dog's never even been shown this. So this is starting point. So he, we already know he loves a ball. first without moving. No movement first, just to reward him for looking at the toy. Who's? Mark. Mark. Now I'm going to make it harder. And then what she'll do with the mark, because you use the mark like to teach the blind search, to look anywhere where you need that dog to look and so that and it also gets a dog to switch drives right so Schutzen is all about the switching of a dog's drive so then she's going to introduce the word transport so I do it a little bit different I don't use a mark I'll use transport and I want that dog to look forward and then I click as soon as it looks forward Beautiful. That was awesome. He really doesn't like the jelly rolls. <laughs> <laughs> really. Really? Bring that here. Bring. So this is the best method I've ever seen to teach the back transport. And it teaches the left leg, right? So when you say transport, the dog learns to feel your left leg and to look straight ahead. Mm-hmm. 
But see, if you don't have a high enough value toy, you won't be able to do this. The dog has to really, really want that toy. Oh, good. Did you do anything embarrassing? That was good. <laughs>